Welcome to one of the coolest wine areas on the planet. It's not California, it's not Mendoza, it's not New Zealand, it's not here in South Africa. It is Greece, Mavromati, a little village in the Peloponnese that's home to some surprisingly good wine. And with me today are two of the finest winemakers in Greece. One of them's called Yanni and one of them's called Vasily. I've got no idea which one is which. They're a pair of smiling twins who really are outstanding winemakers. Unfortunately, their English and my Greek are on a par. So I've got a translator here, Agathoklis Kouvelakis, who happens to be my father-in-law and is also a connoisseur of wine, is going to help me out here. Uh, if you can uh, help me out here with uh, one of the twins, so whichever the one they yes, are. Sure. And why, how long have they been making wine here in Greece? They produce wine and they want the planet to give it into the kids also to carry on producing wine here. Well, it looks like a beautiful place to make wine. What, what sort of grapes are they growing? What sort of wine are they making? Nice. Oh, yeah. It's like, uh, it's a kind of a, uh, grapes which are called it, uh, Roditis and Ayurgitico. Roditis is a white grape and uh, Ayurgitico is a kind of a rosé. Oh, which right. they make in the, the wine which are in the makes the better wine? Ποιος κάνει το καλύτερο από τις δυο σας. Εσείς θα δοκιμάσετε. Εγώ δεν 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 θα δοκιμάσετε. Σίγουρα το να το δει η κάμερα. Ωραία. Okay. Yeah. So you can see yeah, the color on this. It's uh, yeah, it has the look of a uh, sort of a shenan type, but slightly darker white grape. Now this is made in a plastic barrel in a garage by two asterisk characters. By definition, it should be absolutely undrinkable, and yet I have a strong suspicion that this is going to be rather nice. Yeah. Yeah, Mm. So if you've ever had the Red Sina, you'll know the direction you're heading in. It is that, that darker, that uh, real grapefruit tones. It's a, a nice deep uh, wine. It's perfect for washing down lavish Greek lunches. It generally takes about five or six hours, which explains much of the Greek economy. Uh, this really is splendid. Uh, and the only sadness is that we don't see more of this around the world, but I'll be trying to spread the gospel. Agathocles, please tell your brothers here as they are that this wine is splendid. Είναι πολύ ωραίο, πολύ καλό πιωτό και συγχαρητήρια. Να είσαι καλά. καλά. Γεια σα. Ευχαριστώ, Γιάννη ή Βασίλη. Βασίλη, Γιάννη. Γιάννη, Βασίλη. Whichever one they are, they're making some terrific wine. <laughs> Cheers from Mavromati in Greece. my travels through the ancient land of the Hellenics and the wine I've been trying has been really really exciting it's been different it's been great varietals I haven't had before and it's been wine by and large it's been extremely good and this is another example and I was really excited to try this because I'm currently on the island of Kefalonia and the grape Robola is one I've seen on a lot of menus I've seen it in shops and it's something that is distinctly Kefalonian in fact it's so Kefalonian that you don't get it anywhere else in the world this is the only place that you get it and it's made by a number of estates including the estate we're at now which is Gentilini which is just up from the airport if you happen to be in Cafalonia not far from Ajostoli it's a lovely little spot very laid back very understated and makes a range of wine now we've tried a rosé today we've tried some lesser whites there's also a red blend with some grapes from the mainland as well as some of the uh, Mavrodafni grapes from here but this is the one I really wanted to have a crack at 
It's their reserve, as we'd know it in South Africa, of the robola. They've got a general robola that comes from 10 different blocks. This is from a single vineyard, and as a result, they only make about 800 bottles a year. So we're drinking some pretty exclusive wine, and yet despite that, it's only 15 euros a bottle. So what does a 15 euro bottle of Kefalonian unique white wine taste like? Let's give robola its maiden try. It's not the fullest of bouquets, but very subtle, but the kind of bouquet that suggests you're looking at a, a very dry, minerally type white wine. Whoa, and that is most certainly dry. They've squeezed every last bit of moisture out of that by what's left in the actual wine. Um, and so it's a very understated wine. It's not a big, bold wine, but it's very crisp. It's very elegant. There's a lovely freshness to it. And if you drive through Kefalonia, you'll see some very dry areas, uh, some areas that really do look like you've landed on the wrong side of the moon. And this is the kind of wine that speaks to that, that dryness, that almost arid feel to it. And yet still a really beautiful wine. It's a wine that's quite different to anything I've tasted. Uh, uh, one of the guys I was tasting with earlier likened it to a Shannon, maybe a very light Shannon uh, without that sort of fruit component, but it's a white wine that on a hot day in Greece under bright blue skies would go down very well. It's a little overcast today, it should change tomorrow. I might keep a bottle in reserve. And reserve is the right way to have it. The Ropolo Reserve from Kefalonia, the wines of Greece just keep getting better. Cheers.